Welcome to the stream. We've arrived at Wind Waker. As far as the Zelda games that I'm playing through go. So, I've never played this one, which means I don't know what I'm doing. But I have always heard good things about Wind Waker. So I'm pretty excited to check it out. This is the Wii U version. I do have the GameCube version, but I figured for the sake of it being nice looking, yeah, the Wii U version's more convenient. The one thing I will say that maybe I'll fix later. I don't have a pro controller for the Wii U, so I have to use the this big ass gamepad, but uh, I'll I'll cope. I mean I played Mario Maker with this, it's okay. But yeah, thanks for clicking if you're watching this later on YouTube. I wish, I wish, but no. Okay. Oh. Link. <laughs> I'll never spell it as Link, ever. This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand. A young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy who traveled through time to save the land was known as the hero of time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the Hero of Time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. One, oh, on a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they became of age. They came of age, geez. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil.
The elders wished only for the youths to know courage, like the hero of legend. Also, hey Sandy, sorry, I was reading. Okay. Big brother. Big brother. Big brother. I knew you'd be here. Hee hee hee, this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Errol's Lookout. Errol? Errol? So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday! That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Alright. Yeah, excellent. Roll into the wall. Wait. Oh, there we go. Why is it being weird? Oh, you... oh, it's inverted ladder controls. Oh, that is weird. Down to go up and up to go down. Huh. I'm, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll get used to it. I wonder if you can change that. Hang on. Options. Controller. You won't be able to see the Wii U gamepad, but I'm looking at it. Mm, it doesn't appear to be an option for inverted ladder. Yeah, unfortunately there's no way for me to capture the Wii U gamepad, so you're just gonna have to trust what I'm saying here. Just having a look around. <laughs> We're back to Loud Link again. Oh boy. I won't make Link noises just yet. Yep. Admittedly, I have missed Loud Link. I mean, Breath of the Wild Link is cool and all, but doesn't really say much. Oops. I just saw a wild... a wild pig! Oh, see? Look! That black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to grab it, Link? Now, you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert to their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. If you want to get close, you'll have to crouch and crawl. Okay. You could also distract it with bait, I guess. <laughs> this is cute. Yeah, I mean my first time playing it, so. Hello, big. Hey. <laughs> I 
I have the pig. Hey, yeah, grab the pig. Why didn't you grab the pig? All right, you know, it's fine. It's just a tutorial. I did my job. Okay. That's correct. You're a smart one. You, my friend, have just targeted me. You see, when you press ZL, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around to target, you can press ZL to face forward, you know. It's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use targeting as well. Quite ingenious little thing, if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you'll just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. I don't know why the door didn't open. It's <laughs> just... Thudded right into it. What's wrong with your head? You're growing up, Link. Which means... You're going to need as much wisdom as you can to get... From this point forward. And if you want to be wise, you must first know things. Now, I was born before you, so I know all sorts of things. Yes, I've been studying all manner of topics for many years now. Now, I can tell you're a smart lad. Lately, I've been thinking it's time for me to pass some of my wisdom down, and I think you're the one I'm going to pass it down to. Count yourself lucky, lad. Everything that you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly, and before you ask, yes, I do know my filing system is odd. Organizational issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all very carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know? Did someone just crash into the door like I did? Such a racket, can't you keep it quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you... Dratted hooligan? Yeah. Honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother who lives just downstairs. He hates studying all day, every day. The lout just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No. The brain's a muscle too. I think. Anyway, the only thing he does is study the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot. As if that's of any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? Is he just going to be the same as this character, but except instead of a bulging brain muscle, he's just going to be bulging everywhere else? Like... I don't know. Let's see what he has to say. Sturgeon's one point lessons. Lesson one, the energy of life. To be younger, to know no limits, to one stamina, to become stronger first. Yeah. I, I don't think I should read this. <laughs> I mean, look, I never read a manual as a kid, and this is the equivalent of reading a manual. I don't know how many headaches it could have saved me, but... This isn't my first Zelda game. Let's see what the brother looks like. Oh wait, where's downstairs? Maybe I have to go outside to go downstairs. It's probably two separate houses. Ah, it is. Okay. I just want to see. Not what I was expecting. Link, is that you? If I recall correctly, today you are the same age as the legendary hero. When did you get so old? You must build strong muscles from now on. Strong muscles! 
You have come at the perfect moment. I was about to try my rolling attack. Allow me to teach it to you. Are you ready? Just run as fast as you can and then press A. That's how you perform a rolling attack. If you think you understand, then try rolling into the wall. Go, young one. Such a racket! Can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dreaded hooligan! Ah, my brother upstairs is very high strung. His is the way of knowledge. He locks himself in his room and studies all day. He is quite wise, but with that big head of his, he is hardly accommodating. On top of it all, he is so very feeble. At times, I am ashamed to call him my brother. But enough of that, Link. I sense the natural talent that beats in your veins. But you need more than talent to make it in the world today. You must also be bold. And to that end, I shall teach you the art of swordplay. What say you? Alright. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me, press B. Do not fear for my safety. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say very good. Only press B. I only did press B. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Hold ZL to target me and press B. Keep swinging. Very good. Next is thrust ZL and then tilt forward. Okay. Keep busting. Good, that is enough. It is as I foresaw. One day you shall become the master of the sword, but it is still too soon to give you a sword to carry around with you. I'm afraid I can't give you one yet. If I did give you one, I am certain your grandmother would be quite upset with me, and I do not need that. But if for any reason you feel you need more training, then come see me again. Why does this old... Okay. It looks like the old man has gills, but I think it's just his rib cage. Alright, let's go to Granny's house. Hey, my life, what's up? Oh my god. Uh, your grandma was calling for you, Link. And so was my mom. <laughs> you redeemed the, the big one, huh? Again. How long did it take you to save up again? Would be at least two years. I've been waiting for you, Link. Link, try these on. A lot longer this time. Huh. Time suddenly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. What is that face? You got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is the day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken in all of the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Doesn't look very happy. Does this all make sense to you? I'm sorry, those teeth. Jeez. Isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. 
Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister, Errol. Errol? Errol? I don't know. I... What? What do you mean I can speak to the tree? <laughs> Why was there a speak to the tree option? Okay, anyway. I don't think that was intentional. I think it moved me back enough that it wanted me to talk to Granny again. Oh. oh my, Lean, congratulations. That outfit looks cute on you. Hey, your little sister Errol was looking for you not too long ago. Oh, did I tell you? She was watching me not too long ago, and she said she wanted to learn how to carry jars on her head, too, so she could help your grandma do chores. Hey, if you see Errol, tell her that all she needs to do is to lift a jar, to stand in front of it and press A, and to set it down, she just needs to press ZR. Tell her, okay? Wimbwaffer. <laughs> Wimbwaffer. Oh, you're gonna me. Why did you put Bloom so hard? Yeah, I do- I have noticed it is a bit, like... Hazy? Just a little bit. Ahoy, big brother. Did grandma make that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in these clothes. I guess they're pretty neat though. So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and just hold out your hand? Just for a second. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday. You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. Set it to X, Y. Okay. And use it by pressing whatever button you set it to. Using the gamepad, you can also touch and slide items to set them. Okay, but like, you won't be able to see me do this. I'm just going to have to describe what I'm doing. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at our house from here. Okay, so I'm. It's currently set to. Wait. I'm setting it to Y. Oh, right, gyro. Looking at the red post box. Are you using ZL? Oh, like that. Oh, yeah. Who was, who was that? The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Ah, Link! Look up at the sky! What? Where?
guess we're going up there. Link, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs your help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Alright, we'll go we we'll go get sorted. Wait, what? Now it's not in wait, what? Okay, when I started playing this, going up the ladder you had to press up. But now it's normal. What? I didn't I didn't change anything. Weird. I'm playing more of the Metroid remake and continually impressed. Yep. I can't wait. M mine's coming in like a week and a half. Get away from me! Get a get a tissue, kiddo. So so so. So aren't those clothes hot? This kid reminds me of that Pokemon. You hated that kid when you were young because of the snot? Or just annoying? Or both? But I mean, I think most people know. Most people know a kid that's like that, that just for some reason always has snot. Well, what's the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look of your on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What do you, what do you, what do you, what say you, Link? I can't read right now. Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. But I, I did this earlier. Okay. Let's just do this again. It's kind of wild that in hindsight people complained a lot about this game. Because when the GameCube was, you know, being announced, uh, they showed a tech demo of Zelda and the Z Hold B briefly. They showed a tech demo and it was more like Twilight Princess Link. It looked more realistic. And then when they finally announced this game, people would just... Parry attack, interesting. Um, yeah, people were, were disappointed. Oh, hey, I'm pressing the wrong button. Let's pressing B. But after the fact, people fell in love with this game. Just, just in the lead up to it. <laughs> in the lead up to it, man. Oh, I do not know what has happened. But I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have at it, Link. I give it to you freely. Take that blade with you. Okay. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down that kind old man who has entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. That blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Link. You had the collector's edition disc, so your first introduction to Zelda was Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and the demo for this game. Ah. Yeah, I think I have the collector's edition for the GameCube game. It came with a disc that had Ocarina of Time and Master Quest on it. Mm -hmm. 
but yeah, I mean, I got it not too long ago with the intent of playing through it. But I guess now I'm playing through the HD version, which is fine. <laughs> When I got it, I didn't have a Wii U, so... I kind of miss demo discs. I mean, from the PlayStation era, just it was a bunch of games that you could play, and some of them you could play for a while. I don't really do that anymore. That's miraculous. Do I just roll into the tree? That's, uh, use my head literally. PS4 had the demo for MMA, which lets you do a regular match with two set characters. All you wanted was a game where you punch people, so the demo was all you needed. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Especially if you don't care about the characters. The crawling sound is funny. It's like a cartoon. I just can't believe people would hate on this, <laughs> just because it wasn't realistic looking. <laughs> to be honest, I would have been excited about this, like this would have been more representative of what I grew up with, converted to 3D. Like Toon Link is more akin to A Link to the Past Link. I should peep the pet's channel. More, more cat photos. Hang on. I gotta use my phone because my screen is currently preoccupied with this. <laughs> I do miss having cats in the house. Especially when you're doing something and they're just chill. Oh my god. Some of these, uh, facial expressions and animations. <laughs> Your cats think they are highly intelligent investigators. You know what you should do? You should just... Get that game stray, and play it, and see how they react to it. Wow, well, what's with that get up? Well, whatever. So where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came in. Miss, Miss Tetra. Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness, you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd. Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? 
Well, wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Whenever you go to your PC, they chase the cursor. <laughs> that must be annoying. But they're still quite young, right? Like, I'm sure over time they'll even out. My brother got a kid in recently, and I went over the other day. And man, man, is that cat such a bully. Like, just chases the dog around, and the dog is so chill. And the kitten just kind of hunts the dog. At every, any given opportunity, it'll just hide and then just jump on the dog or something. Or take a swipe at it. Ugh, stupid kid, get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. Oni-chan! What? You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know. Pirates? The terror of the seas? What do we get out of some... Oh, out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what, we get a headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us. Now does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, 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 whoa there. Just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now... As my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard of it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help. Now would it? Hmm. I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with. Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. <laughs> the entire stream is just going to be you saying you love things about the game. That's fine. I'm okay with that. It's funny, it's funny for me to hear because my experiences of this game, I mean... Initially, it was just people bad-mouthing it. <laughs> For no reason. 
And I was always like, yeah, but have you played it? And it's like, nah, it doesn't look good. It looks like a baby game. It's like, yeah, but have you played it? No, I, I, why would I play it? It doesn't look good. They showed this realistic Zelda and it's not the realistic Zelda they promised us. So, you know, it's good to have people like it. What is it, Link? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. The bird, pretty cool, though. You do think the pigs are your favorite thing? Oh, the thing that you had to hunt at the start was pretty funny. I wasn't expecting the crawling. And where's Errol? Is she still playing outside with the gulls? Oh, I guess just grab the shield. Oh, come on. You want to turn Link Zelda on the Switch and not whatever the fuck Link's Awakening is. <laughs> I mean, that's a different kind of Link. But I mean, I think that's fitting because the whole thing of that was that um, Link's in a dream. So I guess they made it like dream sequence. Link? Is this what you're looking for? Take it with you. Got the hero's shield. This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold ZR to defend yourself while holding the sword. You can move around if you defend while targeting. <laughs> the pose. I like that. I guess it is true. Errol has really been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Aww. Oh, Errol. Poor Granny. Don't worry, Granny. I'll save her. Away I go. I love the crawling. <laughs> I've missed this loud link, honestly. It'll be weird to go back to Tears of the Kingdom and not have him scream every 15 seconds. This is a terrible situation, Link. I'm truly sorry. Unfortunately, I can't go in your stead. But if anything happens, please come to my island. I will do that. I'll do what I can aid you to. Okay. Wow. That's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Insert loud link. I, I'm not going to do it that often. It's just comedic effect. Also, hey, Laura, what's up? I'm kind of curious, like, at what decision they would have made to make Breath of the Wild Link quiet. Is this the new game? Nah, this is Wind Waker. This is old. This is the one on GameCube, but I'm playing the Wii U version. But it's my first time playing it. <laughs> Another redeem, alright. How much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island?
Anyway. Um, the redeem for warrior voice? Okay. Oh, yes! It's pirate time. There you go. Link, listen, kid. You can't just stand around on deck. You'll get in everyone's way. I told Nico to look after you. So you'd better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Okay, hold on. Before I do that, let me... Okay. Sorry, just marking it as complete. <laughs> Zelda's the one series you never played. Well, it's never too late to get into it, but, you know. Some people are shocked that people haven't played Zelda. Hey, I can't step up here with you. Alright, she said below deck. I mean, it's a great series. Stop right there. This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't even think about it. Okay, I wasn't. Oh, well now, ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, <laughs> I am your superior, Nico. Now, I promise I'll go easy on you, so do as I say, okay? Right, now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful-like, so you can cram it into your no-doubt mushy swabby brain. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt, yeah, to step on it. Unfortunately, we've kind of entered the era of, like, Nintendo doing tutorials for absolutely everything, so... Now check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm appreciative of this, but, like, there are times where I wish I could go... ...back to the old games where they didn't tell you a thing. <laughs> okay, so I was able to jump on this first one myself, but... ...that next one's too far, right? That's when you gotta do this! If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use it to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform. Oh no, yeah, no, just swing on the fire, that's fine. So do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance, alright. Here's the problem though, Swabby, the platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way there. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it fast, I'll reward you. Now give it a try, this ought to be good for a chuckle or two. Okay. Oh. Good work. Shut up! <laughs> I will figure it out. Wait. Yeah, there. That's what I was looking for. Targeting. So you want some facing the right direction. Hey, 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 no. What? You did it already? I, uh, I'm proud to have you as, uh, uh, as my underling. I, I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I, I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's a reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes.
Oh my god, even the chest animation. <laughs> the lights! You got the spoils bag. You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. It can hold up to eight kinds of items. Oh, this is new. Hey, Link! We've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry up and get up here. Okay, uh, I am binding this to X. So, hold on. You won't be able to see it. It's on the gamepad. Oh, you can just open it. It's not even binding it. Okay, never mind. I wish there was a way I could show what's on the bottom screen. You're just gonna have to trust what I'm saying. Oh, it's... How long was I down there for? <laughs> it's night time. Hey, Link. Here I am, up here. Okay, this, look, this is much easier on the eyes. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That... That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look. Over there, by the window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near the land near landing there, jeez. Hmm. What do we do now? <laughs> In a barrel. <laughs> Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never f you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. <laughs> I already like this a lot. Oh, come on, no! <laughs> well, don't have a sword. Alright. Sorry. Your sword landed all the way up there. Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. Heh <laughs> the look on your face, priceless. Oh my god, it's like Navi. Heh <laughs> I slipped a stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see A, you better press that button. I put the stone on your quest status screen. Use the pad on the item screens to take a look. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you, you save your sister, so don't go losing it, understand? Alright, down to brass tacks. 
The courtyard is awash with searchlights, so they'll see you right away if you just go charging in. Better think it through. Okay, it looks like it's only temporary, I was gonna say. I don't think I can deal with another game with, like, just something constantly going, Ow! 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 What's that? Ow! Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> But I mean, I guess enough people complained about it that in Majora's Mask, it just didn't exist. I can't believe we're opening for stealth mission. Can I... Apparently I can't climb that way, okay. I'll get the money. I mean, realistically, would they really not notice a moving barrel? Like, these aren't the most intelligent of pirates, I guess. I can't believe how bright the lighting is in this. Okay, there's a map on the lower screen, but you know. I can describe it to you, it looks like a smiley face. Just imagine the smiley face, that's, that's the map. It's like a... Uh, something you would carve into uh, a pumpkin. Okay, now it's like a circle with a little knob thing on top. Which I guess is this tower here. See? I'm providing visual aid where there is none. Oh, I see. Okay. Just checking. Right, so it's showing me up here. Just look at these aesthetic. <laughs> no, let's go. I, I am enjoying it so far. How? How? Let's not blink. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then maybe it'll shut down the searchlight. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you. I'd try to use my shield to deflect that monster's blow and see if I can make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you could pick up its weapon. But that's just me. What'll you do? Yeah. 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 
<laughs> he just goes back to the machine. Okay, well, we got whatever this is. Oh. Well, that's what I get for listening to her. There was always... I guess another way to do it. That probably would have uh, been easier. Hey, don't drop it, bring it with you. <laughs> why would it why would you drop it? Bring it with you. Okay. Is it really that cumbersome to take through a door? Is it gone? It's gone. Wait, is this just- oh, see, that's why I'm- I'm confused. Because I was like, wait, isn't this where I came from? But it's just a visually similar looking room. That's why. Okay. <laughs> now that makes sense. This is the way because on the map it's a, it shows that there's another spotlight ahead, so... Although there is an open chest here. I don't know. Let me have a look. Oh, that's okay. Thought I messed it up. Dude. A rat was about to attack me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a... Uh, this is a great freeze frame right here. Just the exact moment uh, Link gets mauled to death by a, a rat. the face but okay so you can hug walls and okay you just need detective music I think I should have gone upstairs to take out the other light, but it's okay. Got it, Link. In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister's being held, you have to find the room right below the tower. You gotta take the door to the outside and then climb up from there. You got that? Door to the outside. Okay. Let's 
Oh boy. <laughs> what a swift that walk. Stealth mission begin. Oh no, this is actually like a cartoon. It's great. I, I just hate how... Uh... When they're walking, they almost look like they're twerking. I hate it. They're sniffing around. <laughs> it just looks like they're twerking. <laughs> oh no. Push this down. I love how this is something where we have to be careful and quiet. And Link's just like, ha! Ha! Da! Wants to remain undercover, inconspicuous. Stealth! Is there anything behind me? It looks like there's two chests on this floor. Looking at the map. It's okay. <laughs> just, just relax. Nothing to see here. Just nothing but us barrels hanging around. This is so lenient. Can you just hurry up? Sir, please finish your patrol route. Did I just come here for no reason? There's a chest in here, but I can't get in there. 
This is a lot. This is a colossal waste of time. Uh, all right. Back I go. Wasn't too bad coming back. <laughs> I'm like, please. One of the treasure chests, that's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to sneak like to the music. Hopefully this is cracked. Am I am I further away now? Oh no, I've made a mistake. This isn't it. What? That's where I came in from. There are no mistakes. <laughs> what, do you mean? what do you mean there are no mistakes? This isn't a Bob Ross lesson. What? Okay! There are no mistakes, huh? That's it. I don't know, that felt like a mistake to me. gone to jail yet. Uh, there's no key. I need to find a key. So to take the lower path, and I did, but... That just let... Okay, this is different. Okay, here we go. 
I should have just gone up the ramp. I was too distracted by the twerking pigs. I used to freak you out as a kid. What, the, the twerking pigs? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why they're like this. I mean, I love it. It's it's great. It's just... would not have expected it. <laughs> I almost rolled off the edge. It's okay. It's when they sniff, it's just, yeah, I mean. You could play, like, any music from Little John and the East Side Boys and it would just fit perfectly to their sniffing. I also just noticed that their bottom lip just kind of... Why does it do that? You want to talk about jiggle physics? We've got booty and lip physics on the pigs. <laughs> I will stay in barrel form. Knees shattered. Yep. Wait, but I was here earlier. I guess I should get the other lights. Fine, I'll get the other lights. Oh, apparently I can't get this one. This one has like a lower region that you come from. Okay, well I'll get this one at the very least. Okay, this time I know. Don't, don't pay attention to the sound of, <laughs> don't pay attention to the sound of the crash. Shouldn't I be able to get up there somehow? What if I did this? Oh, there's an invisible wall. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Guess there's nothing else to do up here. I'm taking too long on this, aren't I? Oh crap. I 
if I want to hit. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. The longer this takes, the more it's going to be something minor that I overlooked. And I'm going to hate it. To switch these pigs up and take so long. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> My God. Just... Turn around. Let's go. being all weird there. Anyway. On the lower map, the second floor here. So let's just see. But I've been there. The only thing I can think to get to is a chest over here, but... Does it have to go all the way? <laughs> Just go! My god. Has to look around for like 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, so it only lets me sidle, but I can't get in here. Maybe there's something from the higher level that I missed. Excuse me, did that- did that rat just mug me? <laughs> really? Can I break it down with this? No, you- what? It doesn't let you do anything with this. Cool. While this is going on, I'm looking at the map. I mean, I guess I should head to the X. If this pig what what please, just... <laughs> Sir! I hate this.
<laughs> Just go. Okay. I'm going up to level two. Uh, <laughs> let's just, we'll be okay. Okay, so according to this, if I head this way, it should eventually meet up with that room. Oh, but this has gone one higher. in this room. Oh, there's no barrel. Oh, no, here it is. Uh. Okay. That wasn't my intent. <laughs> I, I can't get back up unless I go around again. Hey, he won't clut Okay, there we go. I was gonna say. It's better to go the other way. The other way leads to the second floor. At least the side isn't heavily guarded, thankfully. That's a rather impressive security system, though. Wait, why is this here? I gotta sleep later, I'm gonna hear this music in my head. me <laughs> I got ratted out I literally got ratted out I literally got ratted out <laughs> okay so now I'm in jail
fuck, I didn't deserve that. Though that might be a clue to how to get into the other room, though. Now that I see this. Is there a crawl space? Hang on, let me see. Oh, there's a button there! Did I- did I just not see that? Oh my god. <sighs> I'm so disappointed in myself. I mean, it was only a heart piece, but still. I guess blessing in disguise, if it wasn't for that rat, I probably wouldn't have... Can you just please <laughs> go away? <laughs> Keeping the fine tradition of me being horrible at stealth missions. What are you doing? Go away! Why are you going back? <laughs> oh, this is tilting me so hard right now. Going through the walls. <laughs> what was that? Certainly getting up there in terms of like worst start to a Zelda game ever. Wrong. This isn't the worst start to a Zelda. No, I'm saying my personal worst start to a Zelda game. I'm not saying that the game is bad. I'm saying in terms of like how I would like to be doing right now. How I would be like to be doing right now. I'm falling short of that goal. I would be like to be doing a lot better than this! <laughs> oh no. I just keep following it. It's, it's like we'll end up in that final room anyway. It's still the right way. <laughs> I 
I should I should have probably pointed it out that this is my first playthrough of the game. In case it wasn't obvious. <sighs> I think I need to get a pro controller for this thing, honestly. <laughs> this game pad. It's not bad, it's just I need to adjust to it. I'm just going to be hearing that. Also, wow, those rats. Well, let's through this door just so I know for my, my benefit. Right, so this was the door that I was like, oh no, this is nothing. I do find it interesting that there's a box here, but it's not like I can do anything with it. Like, there's nothing I can push it down. Okay, please don't let the rat mess me up again. As if I could have seen that coming. Is this just is this just supposed to be scripted that you just run into that rat no matter what? I think I need to deal with that rat. <laughs> I can't believe it. Side, I guess.
trying to understand what the purpose of this box is. Like, why is it there? I kind of wish it wouldn't do the camera thing as well. I don't think this is going to be any use. The only thing I can think of is like, unless I push it out there and maybe I can go from below. Or I'm just going to destroy the crate. Okay, that's fine. I'm not sure how the heck I avoided the rat the first time. This is really a case of I just have to watch where the rat is and just not go. see it over there. Okay, it looks like it's gone. This is where it was pointing me to. But I've been up here. Carefully the tower wall, isn't that a narrow ledge you can crop? <sighs> I think I know what I should have done. Yep, okay. No, I am the idiot. <laughs> okay! Progress has been made. Kind of. There's no way I can get that, though. Like, I'm gonna get spotted. No, there's no way. There's no way. I have to get the other light, otherwise it's it's not doable, so how do I get over there? Do I really have to do it with, with the light going? I guess I couldn't find another way to get over there. Okay, hang on. I did check over there. Oh, 
Okay, I'm not- look, I'm not gonna risk it just yet. Hold on. Let me, at the very least, not be stupid. And give my way- give myself a way back up here. I'm gonna do that first. If I fail, I'll get put it back in jail and I'll have to go through this whole ordeal again. At least now, even if that happens, I have a way back up. So let's let's just let's be cautious. I just I, I don't want to have to go through this ordeal again. Look at how slow it is though. There's no way. Look, there's there's not enough time. I'll try it, but I don't believe it's gonna work. No, no way. It doesn't work. I have to go deal with it first. It's a good thing I- it's a good thing I did go, uh... They're such as a real pain, you're gonna have to deal with them somehow. Okay. Yeah, kinda figured. Oh man, <laughs> this is the first dungeon. Ah, uh, this is. It's not even a dungeon, it's the tutorial dungeon. And this is how well it's going. Okay, so behind us. Yeah, so how do I get to this ladder? This is the one that I'm... Oh, no. I see what I've done. Oh, no. What? Okay. There's a ladder that I couldn't see. So, it's the next junction you go out. I don't think anyone has taken as long as I have to do this. <laughs> this is... This is incompetence, for sure. frame of reference. Where's the other ladder? Over there. Don't tell me I gotta go through all this again. No, come on. That's the reason I put the thing down.
behind me, but like... I guess I have to go through this again, which, fine, whatever. I gotta watch out for that rat. Okay, the rat's above right now. Where is it? I had it. I don't know where it went. <laughs> Just ignore it. On to Wind Waker, yes. On to Wind Waker, hello Nigel. The barrel level is a classic. I would call this the twerking pig level. The twerking pig base. Okay, but I, I think I think I've got it now. <laughs> All the lights are off. I just think these pigs linger for too much. Aren't they pigs? The pirate things, aren't they pigs? Thought they were pigs. Moblins or bacoblins, they look like pigs to me, but okay. They're still twerking, nonetheless. Ignore that ominous bird <laughs> sound in the background. I like the music. Well, okay, either way, they're twerking. You just replace pig with the appropriate terminology. And that's the base. A joy pendant. You can keep it in your spoils back. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy, like butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms. Yo, I can get the cleaver. Is the twerking a problem for me? No. <laughs> it's just... Just making an observation. I was just making an observation. Hmm. Boss time. This really should not have taken me this long to do. I'm basically two hours into this.
Oh, look who it is. You mean after all that, <laughs> I get yeeted into the ocean? Link. Link. Wake up, Link. Pull yourself together, Link. <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull witted. Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear, I am not your enemy. Link. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, that shadow, or the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. He, who obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the Seal of the Gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? And you will do anything to save her. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart to the great sea. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wider variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea. So listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. I mean, the question has to be asked, like, if he had no sail, the boat, how did it get anywhere? Just drifting along? this thing so much. You are my pig now. Ah! 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> can you swim? I think the pig can swim. I think the pig's okay. It's swimming. I think it's lost, but it's, it's swimming. It's fine. I'm just taking a bath. What? Can't you see we're busy? I know we're super cute and all, but that doesn't mean you can just come up and talk to us whenever you like. Cheapers! What's the matter, mister? Why are you looking at us like we're aliens or something weird like that? What? We're good girls. We don't spread rumors. Aha. Uh -huh. You say you want a sail for a boat? Tell me you're kidding with me. Listen up, laddie. Try using your head a little more. What makes you think a bloke like me, a guy who makes his living off the sea, would give away the very sailing gear he needs to survive? Look elsewhere, laddie. <laughs> Hello, is it Twitch out? Did you enjoy my pig? If you could indulge me for a moment, please admit that I am looking fine. Why, looking this fine would have won me the Miss Windfall crown way back when. I'm still looking better than all the younger girls I know. <laughs> okay. I mean, how old are we? I guess old enough to this lady. Hey there, boy. Did you happen to see the post box down near the docks? Well, just so you know, if you want to send someone a letter, okay. Before long, the retail postman will come to deliver it to whomever you sent it to. He's a hard-working fellow, I tell you. You don't look at all familiar, buddy. Are you some kind of tourist or something? If you are, I'll show you around. Why don't you join me for a little stroll around town? Our Windfall Island may be a little cozy, so to speak, but people from all over the world come here. The town's always lively. Ha ha. Why, just walking around and having a look at things is quite fun. That's the mark of a great town. Are you gonna walk? No. You're looking for a sail? I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, will you? Go past to that guy in the massive coat or whatever. My dear fellow, I can't have you trying to come in this way. No, no, no. Go over there. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away. A land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds and this island is where I washed ashore. There was one other person with me. Yes, there was. But I dare say he was immediately arrested based on his somewhat suspicious looks and thrown right into jail. Yes, just locked up somewhere on this island. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Would you be so kind as to help free him from captivity? Indeed, it would be appreciated. Oh no, that, that sounds legit. Just go jet break someone out of prison in a town we just arrived at. Completely legit. Lately, I've been hearing that monsters from the Forsaken Fortress have been going around kidnapping girls with long ears. I can believe it. After all, two girls from Windfall have already been kidnapped. Poor Maggie and Miller. It just breaks my heart to think about those two. Both of their fathers are desperate to find anyone who can rescue their poor little girls. What kind, what kind of world has this become? So much fear and suffering. Welcome. Oh my. You're a very small customer, aren't you? Well, that's fine, of course. Just feel free to look around. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything of interest in here. I saw a ladder over here.
Oh oh. <lacht> Ups. Knees shattered. Hey. hey, welcome. Ten rupees for a game for kids. You want to play? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, okay then. Ahem. <laughs> welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolvalski. Look sharp, for we are the sole protectors of this land. Admiral Red Alert, all hands on deck. The sonar shows the schools of deadly giant squid are approaching. All ships prepare for battle. What? Where? Ah, who? I see fiends approach. There are three squid groups. A large one, a medium one, and a small one. And if we allow them to come any closer, the children on the island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to seek out and sink all of these fiendishly hidden enemies. But we warned, you have only 24 cannonballs that you can fire. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must score four direct hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Okay. <laughs> Even the instructions are like in this, uh, yeah. This accent. <laughs> okay, move the cursor, A to fire. Is that clear, sailor? Aye, aye, sir. Excellent! So far, our best sailor has managed to destroy all of the Zion squid only using 20 cannonballs. May you fight us bravely! I don't get this. What the heck is this? Sploosh. Oh, it's like battleships. Sploosh. Sploosh. Kaboom! Okay, I got it. Sploosh. Sploosh. <laughs> Sploosh. Sploosh. Kaboom! Sploosh. 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 Ah, okay. Now I understand it. <laughs> Sploosh. Okay, now I got it. It is battleships. The <laughs> sound effect was amazing. Oh, that was already one. Wow. I'll get I'll get this. Should I make this interactive? I mean, if you want to help. I should be like, where should I fire the cannonball? I should install that overlay where, like, you mouse over, and then it'll tell me where you want me to aim. Got it. Damn it. <laughs> Excellent work, Sailor. You did have successfully protected the peace on the fair island. We are so very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, Sailor. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Sailor. I can't do a high-pitched voice. 
Oh, a piece of heart. Okay, we're done. Whoa, wait a sec, 19. Hey, that's a new record. So you got this too. Oh, yes! So, uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how fun it's been for me. And don't forget your umbrella or nothing on the way. And don't... And wait, uh, and don't forget your umbrella or nothing on the way out the door. Umbrella? Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I mean, you gotta give it to the guy. You know, this thing may look like a windmill, but it's actually a wind-powered ferris wheel. It used to harness the wind's power to spin in quite a nifty manner. But we rarely get a favorable wind around here anymore, so it doesn't budge. I'm pretty sure it's not broken or anything, though. So if the wind blew in the right direction again, we might just have to hit the power switch out to get it moving. Hmm. It looks like a westerly wind is blowing now. It didn't work. I was lied to. I was told to come here and push the button. Are you alone or what? You must feel pretty lonely walking around a place like this by yourself. What are you doing anyway? referring to. Yep. Alright, well, I guess the other thing to check out is the prison. Yep. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh... this. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, and hello. You are standing in the one and only True Jelly Juice Shop. You must have heard, our potions are the best. I'm telling you, they're too good, in fact. They're absolutely incredible. Hmm, what's that? What's True Jelly? You ask, looking somewhat bewildered. Oh, sir, you must simply be joking. You don't know what true jelly is? Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words true jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why? It is the key ingredient in the most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir. Do you have an empty bottle? No. I'm kind of concerned with the sign up front. Like, just to me. I don't know. I wouldn't want to try anything with a face like that on the sign. Gee. I wonder what this is. 
they're all sparkling and shimmering. I wonder if I'll get into trouble for breaking them. This is going to be a, a joke. Well, thank you so much for coming into my home and breaking my high price phases. If you break any more, I'll show you that I'll not. No, I shall require compensation. Oh. I kind of spoiled what I was trying to do, but like. What I was going to do. <laughs> I was going to put them all down like this and then just go. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. I was gonna set them up like bowling pins and then just run into them, but it, it doesn't work. <laughs> well, they're all back. Oh. No consequence this time. Huh. Weird. <laughs> okay. Not sure what this is about then. Wait, just one moment. Uh-oh. Do you think you can just break someone's vases and leave without paying for them? I must chortle at your naivete. Ho oh. ho. Those happen to be extremely high-class bone china vases that run a minimum of 10 rupees each. Most assuredly, I shall now accept compensation for them. Let me see now. That comes to a total of... 80. I don't have 80. I shall accept your payment. No, but... Ugh. When you break someone else's vase, it is only natural that you compensate for the loss. You and my boy are in the wrong because he had discussed destructive tomfoolery. And now because of you, I'm going to be even richer. And I was quite rich before. The world is a cruel place, isn't it? What's this nonsense? Why, this is ridiculous. You don't have enough money. Be on your way. <laughs> really? No, there's, there's no way this is just it. I'm gonna break them all again, let's see what happens. <laughs> there's like a podium and everything in here. Rabble, 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 rabble. Rabble! Rabble, 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 rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. Rabble! Rabble, rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. Rabble, rabble. Rabble? Rabble, rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. Okay, that's nothing. I thought maybe we would get sent to jail, but guess not. Well, now I'm poor. It's 
also, it's trying to teach you a life lesson, I guess. People from all over the world seem to gather here on Windfall Island, all hoping to become successful merchants. I suppose you could say that this is the island where people and money come together, but you know what? Money is important, sure, but don't you think people need to open their hearts a little more than their wallets? I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time, and I've learned to stop and sniff the flowers along the way. I wonder if the Rito Postman has come today. I don't think I've been in here. What is this? <laughs> Welcome to Miss Mrs. Marie's School of Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk? I know I may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall Island? 20 years? Ever since then I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyless problem. There's this delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch their leader, that little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense into him? Please, young man. For me? Sure. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a dear. They're such troublesome little boys. I'm at my wit's end over how to handle them. But they won't be so mean to a boy their own age, will they? I should think not. Good luck, young man. Yeah, I'm gonna go pay him a beating. I mean, visit. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. Visit is what I was supposed to say. Ah! You love this island and you wanted to live here as a kid. <laughs> and play the battleship game with a dude doing the horrible German accent. I mean, okay, I was doing the horrible sort of German accent. I forgot to sidle. It has a pig too, which is a plus. I oh know the pigs are great. There we go. I just like the face he makes when he does that. I can't use my sword here. I just love how I haven't learned my lesson about breaking people's property. Oh, hello. How'd you sneak in here, you little rat? Shoot, beat it, scrap, vermin! How dare you? This... This would be the bomb shop. Okay. Ten- Ugh. Okay. Which means I'm the best in the world, and it means I don't go selling my work without the approval of who I sell it to. And I don't approve of you, so beat it. Yeah, okay. I wonder if anyone had the goal to grind up that many rupees. Like, obviously this is a joke, and we're gonna get them practically for free. But I wonder if there's anyone who was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna be here a while, and just... Set out to get the 10,000 rupees. Because, I mean, if you keep going in and out of this door, right? Like, if that red rupee is always there, how many times do you have to go in and out?
It's not always there, okay. Well then, <laughs> never mind. Which one of you is the punk? Yeah. yeah! Yeah, bud, you got a problem with killer, us killer bees, do you? Don't tell me it's that annoying hag of a teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to, because Ms. Marie asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty and invincible gang of four, the killer bees. Do you think we'd listen to a chump like you? But I'll tell you what, bud, if you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll think about it, maybe listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? Do you want to challenge us? Sure. You can only hold 500 rupees, you had to look it up. Still, I think there would have been some kid that started to get them and then got to 500 and was sad. Okay, your funeral, bud, the rules are simple. We're gonna go hide somewhere and if you want to find us, we're gonna run. You gotta try and catch us. It's that easy. We won't hide indoors or nothing. We won't leave this island, so look for us in the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we lose. You got it, bud? Ready? Go! Okay. I'm just gonna start slashing my sword everywhere. Oh, if you please, young boy there, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> my sweet daughter, my only daughter, poor Maggie, she was taken, captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken for Fortress. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, I know. You know, please so save my poor daughter, I beg of you. Here I stand begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh yes, pay. Poor old man. What's that shadow? Is that the old man? No, it's... It's you. <laughs> Or that one. I mean, surely they're going to be in obvious positions, not anywhere. Anywhere difficult, I don't think. Yeah. Yep, to sailors like us, the wind's our whole life. It'd be nice if a fair wind blew today. <laughs> You're awesome. Okay. That kid has balls. Oh yeah, no, jumping off that height. Could have shattered knees.
You look like a curious boy. Do you know there's an island a little to the east of here called Dragon Roost Island? Folks say that the island is the home of a tribe people who dance in the skies like birds on the wind. They call themselves Rito, and they have a sky spirit that lives in our nearby. But to someone like me, a person who's never left this little island, it may as well be a fairy tale out of a child's book. Oh, if I only had my own boat. The Rita actually people. I mean, I don't think they mean humans, literally. I remember the lore is like the Rito evolved from the Zora or something like that. Because of this timeline or vice versa. I think it's like... There's a story behind it. Wow. <laughs> Jumping off a cliff just to not get caught. Yeah, you got me. They are people who possess avian features, including wings that gives them the ability to fly in the Wind Waker. They're primarily humanoid with few bird-like traits. Huh. I thought they were all, they were like um like Falco from Star Fox. Just actually a bird. But I guess they're more like a bird person from Rick and Morty. Oh, okay, just go through the fence. Oh no, that was, that was a gap. The, re the wiki says the return Breath of the Wild are completely avian. Oh, lame. Hmm. I mean, this isn't the most uh, well thought out lore. Like, I'm convinced the timeline is something that they, after a while, were like, okay, let's just try and mash something together. I mean, now they're probably taking more care with it, but I think initially there wasn't really thought into it. I would say, like, sometimes Gorons have nipples, sometimes they don't. Yep. Sometimes they can uh, have children, and then other times they're all the same age. <laughs> Just like real history. <laughs> I suppose, like, there's a saying that, like, history is written by the victor. This just reminds me of the, the game of hide- yeah, see that? Do, do you remember- do you remember the story I told you about that high school camp where there was a, uh, a teacher that didn't like playing uh, games or activities and there was this other teacher that did? And so this other teacher wanted to do a game of hide and seek and the bet between these two teachers was if this- if this teacher could go without being found, then there would be no more activities or forced activities. It would all be voluntary. And then this teacher proceeded to climb up on the roof and lie down so no one could see him. Yeah, this is a, the, that exact same move. <laughs> yeah. But this is my objective, hunting this little little shit down.
also getting uh, the sale. Yeah, you got me. Jukes. <laughs> well, I got him. I can't believe it. You found all four of us and you caught us all too. Talk about utter defeat. See, they admit defeat. I win. Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out. From now on, we won't cause no more trouble for anyone. And to reward your hide-and-seek skills, here, take this, bud. Oh, see, that's worth it. Uh, this is our favorite possession, but you've proven your state you're worthy. To our bud, the hide-and-seek master. Oh, and one more thing. We need you to apologize to Mrs. Marie for us. All right, we're counting on you, bud. Yep. I mean, it only made sense that that kid was the most agile one. Also, really? She's right over there. Oh, wow. They are- they are actually a bunch of bullies. I'm surprised they're not, like, snapping their fingers like a musical. Like, they just circle you like a bunch of... <laughs> buzzards. What can I do for you on this fine day? There you go. You did it, didn't you? You said something to those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me. I watched it all from the shadow of my door. You really are a dear. You fill me with joy. I have to reward you. So here's a little spare change. Ooh. Okay. And one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Hey, sounds like you apologized to teach for us, good old Mrs. Marie. And speaking of Bud, did you know that it's gonna be Mrs. Marie's birthday soon? Boss, ooh, boss, you think maybe we should give her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid, we're the killer bees, we ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What's she into these days? What you call them, joy pedants? Yeah, where do you find them? Are they just lying around? If we could just find some, we could give them to Teach as a present, and she'd be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it, when I was climbing some trees the other day, I saw some sparkly light on top of some tree in town. Who was that? Maybe that's one of them pendants. What do you think, boss? Nah, that's crazy talk. Alright, so we just have to go headbutt every single tree. Imagine this, like, you wake up in the morning, you have your breakfast, maybe some coffee, just to get your de day started. You're feeling great. And then suddenly you hear, and you're like, what the heck was that? You go back to eating your breakfast and then you hear it again. You decide to go outside to see what the commotion is about. And then you see this small child just repeatedly running into trees and butting his head. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, bud, looks like you found yourself a joy pendant. Good work. Actually, I gotta admit, we hid that thing up in the tree. We thought you might find it. Listen up, it's gonna be Mrs. Marie's birthday soon. We were thinking of giving her a present, so it was a good thing that we finally got our hands on that thing. But we can't go... We can't be going around giving presents to people. No way, that just doesn't fit the Killer Bee style. Come on, bud. Can't you give it to Teach for us, can't you? And it's not like we could ask just anybody to do it for us, neither. It's gotta be someone reliable who can keep a secret. You're the only one we could ask, bud. Why do I feel like these kids would just have just this, you know, British accent, but I don't know how to put it, but delinquent British accent. <laughs> I just have that feeling that that's how those kids would sound like.
What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. When it comes to children, my eyes never deceive me. Someday, dear, you will grow up to be a fine young man, and your name will go down in history. That's what I think, dear. Wait. But I can't deliver stuff to her? Hang on. Items. Ah, I have to- okay. I had to drag it onto the inventory, and then I can do this. My dear, that's... A joy pendant! To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else, and... That. Why? That is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around here. Oh my, yes. I will happily take a single one from you. No, no. I insist, only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them, but that would probably only happen in my wildest of dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties. I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Oh. <laughs> and if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. Yeah. You're the coolest, bud. Okay. I thought they were gonna say, you fucking what, mate? Where do you think you're going with that pendant, Sunshine? Hmm, now, I, I would have to say that I've never seen your face before, have I? Hmm. Now, intriguing. Beguiling. I know you're just a small child, but I've found one can rarely trust sta strangers. Where is it you've come from, young sir? I'm sorry, but the years have made me wary. Once, long ago, I rented a room out to a traveler for a single night. The next dawn, my precious Picto box was stolen. They caught the scoundrel, yet my possession remains outside my grasp. Perhaps it would rot with him forever in his cell. Why the good deeds so often repaid with cruelty? You may look like a child, but you can see why I cannot be assured of your youth. Be a good boy and be gone. Shoo shoo. Um... Yeah, where is this jail cell that they're talking about? I haven't really seen anything that looks like a prison. I mean, this is just... Where, what is this? This is just the Ferris wheel room. Which just has the minigame, right? Yeah, they've been in here. Mind you... Did I go to the very top of this? I don't think I did. What do you think of my outfit? You don't see clothes like this often, do you? Aren't they cute? A friend of mine who lives on Outset Island sent this outfit to me. She's an amazing girl. She can put jars on her head and walk around like it's nothing at all. You have to see it to believe it. What is this magical door here? I never went in it. Oh. It's you. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if a boy like you will do. It's difficult to tell. Yes, difficult. You see, my one and only daughter, Mila, was taken away from me to a frightening place called the Forsaken Fortress. I have asked many to rescue her, but it seems to be a difficult voyage to that cursed place. Oh, to see my sweet little Mila again, my precious little daughter. I worry so over her welfare. I can't recall the last time I slept more than a wink. I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. But would you lend a hand to help rescue my precious daughter? Sure. Oh, you are a brave boy to take on this task. I assure you, if you do rescue her, I will pay you as much money as it takes. I'd give my entire fortune for her safety. Can I get my, my money back? Oh. 
Interesting. What's down here? Oh, there is a chest here. Ha! Yoink. Okay, potion shop. I probably walked past this jail cell so many times. I mean, if, if I were running a prison, it would be somewhere at the bottom of the island, but I don't think that's what it is. This just leads to the manor. I'm gonna climb this and see if maybe it's, for some reason, like a tower. Hang on. I forgot I took out the stylus. I gotta put it back before I lose it. <laughs> this, this might seem dumb, but like... I don't use this gamepad often, so I'm looking for where the st oh, there it is, it's up the top. <laughs> where the stylus holder is. I haven't used the Wii U in a couple years. I mean, the gamepad. I did play Wario Land on it, but that was using the Wii mote and not this, so it doesn't count. Westerly wind is blowing now. There was nothing. I looked. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't seen anything that's a prison. Maybe I'll talk to the person looking at the tombstone. Dancing on someone's grave. What are, you, what are you doing? Oh. No, that's not it. That's not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't either. Oh dear, pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I am Tot. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as... The world's most charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two. Say, guy. You know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance, and the dance turned night into day, right before my very eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I can't just seem to get that intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm, guy? Nope. Wait, what is this door? This might be the prison I've been looking for. Okay, it is. I mean, this door... <laughs> it's Tingle! Ha! Oh, no. That was an accident. Hooray, thank you so very much. Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle, tingle, cooler limpa, become an item. You got a Tingle bottle. <laughs> I hate that name. It just sounds like someone's going to take a piss in this bottle. Using Miiverse, you can insert a message you've written and send it out to sea to someone unknown to receive. Oh. 
You mean that thing that doesn't exist anymore? Mr. Fairy, are you familiar with Meverse? With it, messages put in this bottle can be sent to fairies the world over. The communion of minds, hearts beating as one. Just don't write anything unpleasant, okay? Not that I have to remind you, Mr. Fairy. Splendid. Tingle is returning now to his own special island. Will you come find him? Ah! I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy. You want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Tingle's chart. What kind of chart could it be? Head out to sea and then check out your map. Open it on the map screen. If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget. And if you'd like to give your Tingle bottles a little extra oomph that all Tingles crave, you should check out the back of the cell. Check it out. Is this, is this a trap? Am I... Look at the Wii U gamepad. You can now send Tingle bottles. Set your Tingle bottle. And send a letter of your own. You can even use the Picto box to include Pictograph with your message. Okay. Receive. The... I, I just went didn't receive. The Miiverse doesn't exist anymore, so... You know. They shut it down. What is this? Intricate subsystem. All right, like I, I've, I've gone around in a circle. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, I freed the friend. I wonder if I should go back in there. Try again. Okay, right, straight, left, left, right, right, left, right. Wait, is this? I think this all just goes to the same exit. Okay, it's the same thing again. Why are all the mice in this game clever? They know how to take a barrel off a human and they know how to pull levers. There's going to be an uprising of the rats and the rodents. My dear fellow, I can't have you trying to... Ugh. I'm just here to tell you I freed your friend. Really? You have rescued him? That is news I deem rather great. You are a stand-up individual. Indeed you are. Now I apologize as I have but another favor. I'm actually considering starting a little shop here on the island, but I'm having trouble funding my venture. I have but one asset to my name. I wonder if you might buy it from me, perhaps. 
The people on this island have no interest in venturing out to these dangerous seas, so my chances of selling it to them is rather bleak. The bleakest I can describe. I'd really like to ask 200 rupees for it, but as a favor for rescuing my, my friend, perhaps we can strike a deal. How does 80 sound? Alright. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master. As I promise, please take that. Okay. There it is. We got it. Yes, yes, you have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sale in the world. Treat it as such. Alright, I guess we're, we're done here. Well, there's still the, the bomb shop, but I guess that's later. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. <laughs> oh, that look in your eyes. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hull and press A to climb aboard. Hoist the sail you got with A to get moving. The sail will catch wind, which will push the boat forward. The that appears behind me in the case of one direction. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> I don't know why I got a major yawn. <laughs> I'm not bored. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press B to move. Okay. Yes. One more thing. When you are out at sea with few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place we should currently be heading for on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, select map displayed on the Wii U gamepad to open your seat chart. You can also pause the game with plus and convert in position. Okay, westerly wind blows. <laughs> Away we go. What was that? I guess we can't deal with that yet. Feels like a mini game. Is that just a pirate? Just do that, okay. That works. See ya. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Probably. Probably not worth it. pretty relaxing. Maybe like a little bit of camera work. <laughs> Be all cinematic. On the bottom screen, I can see a map that I'm supposed to be headed to. Whoa. Hey. There on the horizon. That is our destination, Link. Dragon Roost Island. High atop this peak's... This island's peak lives the spirit of the skies. The great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Just wait a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. First, conduct in 3-4 time. Do not touch L. Try to match- oh no. Rhythm with R up, down, and left. What? <laughs> it's sad to be a rhythm game, oh no. I'm bad at rhythm games, yes. You do not have to time it exactly. Okay. Alright, got it. Next is 4 4 time. Press L to change the rhythm and then match and tilt it. Oh no. Oh, okay. I get it. That's it, Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct 6 4 time by tilting it to the right. So that's what the Wind Waker is, huh? By using this musical conductor baton, you can borrow the power of the gods. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be... <laughs> if this is anything like Oracle of Ages and the rhythm of that, oh boy, are we in for some fun. Okay. Uh... I hit save chat. I'm just saving the game. But I think this is a good opening stream for this. Uh, like three hours. But realistically, this should have been two. <laughs> it's just that first dungeon. Well, 
trial dungeon took me a while, but we've arrived at the next island. We'll pick this up tomorrow, so... I'll be playing this a lot, so don't worry. We'll continue this tomorrow. But if you're enjoying yourself... Yeah, thanks for watching and tuning in to this so far. Um, and if you're watching this later on YouTube, yeah. Appreciate you for clicking the video, and if you wanna help the stream, just do the old thumbs up thing, so then I know people are enjoying this kind of content. I'm not done with the stream, though. Uh, I'm gonna do some Animal Crossing for a bit. I just need to stretch my legs for a couple of minutes and refill my water bottle, so we're going to do that first. Uh, small intermission. But this is where we say goodbye to YouTube. Bye, YouTube.